Hello, Hopkinton High School, and welcome to HHS Today. I'm Chris Pomeroy. There's so much to share, so to start, we have Mr. Bishop with A Minute with the Principal. Okay. What's up, HHS? Another busy and exciting week here. The Drama Ensemble presents Spoon River Anthology in the Auditorium today at 4 p.m. and Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. After the show today, head to Bourne to see the boys' ice hockey state sectional semifinal game against Norwell at 8 o'clock. Should be a great game. Next week is de-stress week, because we get it. We know how much stress you're under. The week is to help you manage stress in healthy and fun ways, but to not remove all stress that you have. So you may have some homework or assessments, but we'll be mindful of the assigned work that we give. We'll have music between classes, games in the AC, and therapy dogs and guidance during lunch to try to put a smile on your face. If you have suggestions or other activities to make the week better, let me know. Also during De-Stress Week, Be Free is going to sponsor a handball tournament Monday night in the AC at 7 p.m. All are welcome. Next Thursday, Chris Heron, former BC Eagle and, and Boston Celtic, is going to talk to us about his amazing journey at an all-school assembly. And Friday is the 9th and 10th grade cotillion. So like I said, lots going on. Lastly, happy birthday to 9th grader Taylor Fortunato, and congratulations to the Hopkinton cheerleaders on their first state championship and first ever game day state champion in the state of Massachusetts. Before I go, here's my challenge for the day. Do one kind thing for someone else today. A friend, a sibling, a parent, a student, or even a teacher. Could be big, could be small, it doesn't matter. And let me know if you're the recipient of someone's kind act. Okay, that's all for me. Have a great day and be good to one another. Thanks, Mr. Bishop. Next up, Student Council asks all students to donate canned goods during lunch periods next week. The more cans collected, the more teachers dress up as leprechauns and pass out chocolate coins during lunch next Friday. Also, two Boston Celtics tickets will be raffled off to the class that collects the most. What more incentive do you need? Last week was the annual science fair. Congrats to Freya, Hemanchu, and Brian for winning. HCAM took some photos, so here's a quick look. Quick enough? Hey, we got a lot to fit in. To see them again, visit hcam.tv and look on their slideshow. Moving on, we have a school club to introduce you to, Photo Club. Tell me, how long has Photo Club been around here at the high school? Uh, it's been here since about 2004, so quite a while. And uh, where, do, where do you guys meet and when do you meet? Uh, we meet in Mr. Worrell's room here, uh, C203, and we meet every Wednesday after school. Nice. And uh, what, what's your mission? What do you guys accomplish here when you come here to meet? I think our mission is to create an environment where we can make art and take uh, take photographs uh, in an, a close community and be able to share that with each other. What are the, some of the things you guys do here? Uh, well, we do many things. Uh, we did uh, something called the I Will Project. We also did the Deer, we helped out with the Deer Hopkins Project around the 300th anniversary parade, which is really fun. And we also did the senior superlative photos, which have been a tradition here for a while. Everyone enjoys it. And it's, it's definitely a pleasure to, to be a part of that. And also we did the photo contest, which is an annual thing. And that's always fun to do and have people uh, submit their photos for a prize. And it's, it's fun. So we enjoy that. Sounds awesome. And uh, if someone wants to uh, join the club, how would they go about doing that? Well, we're a very open club. Uh, people come and go, and it's not really a heavy commitment. So anyone can really come in here whenever they want, and we'll we'll have fun, and we'll uh, include them. So we always have openings. So feel definitely welcome to come. Our advisor is Sterling Morell. He is the photo uh, teacher here at Hopkins High School. Why why are you guys involved with, with uh, photo club? Well, I think Photo Club provides a really great community of people and friends to just kind of come hang out, take great photos. Um, and it's just a really fun environment that's really free and open to everyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of the upperclassmen, they also bring a lot of food in Starbucks. So that's always, that's always a plus. Excellent. Now, we have a final reminder. Next Friday is Freshman Sophomore Cotillion in the gym from 6.30 to 10 p.m. It's $10 per ticket at the door. There will be free food and music, so don't miss it. And you have no excuse. And now we bring you the five-second interview. And today's question is, if you won the lottery, what's the first thing you would do? Um, I'd probably buy myself a skate park. <laughs> Pay off a mortgage. I would donate all of it. Uh, probably go home and just use Amazon a lot. I need to have like a uh, I would make a, buy a million dollars worth of gum and make a Ford out of it. I'd buy a house. I'd buy an island full of puppies in hot dog costumes. <laughs> I'd use that million dollars to ask John Youssef to cotillion. I know, just spend it on some my family and some good, good causes. Okay, I would donate it to my relay team, Ribbon Runners. Woo! <laughs> I would give a lot of the money to my parents, especially since they have to pay for three college tuitions. 
I would probably save a lot of money for college and a car, hopefully. Cool. Well, good luck with that. All right, time for the Have You Seen This? Last time's was from a painting outside the ceramics room. Three people got the right answer, and two attached a photo to their email. Nice touch there, guys. You get a gold star. Fun fact, the highest number of entries for the middle school version is 19. Now, this isn't a contest, but if it was, we'd be losing. So winners, pick up your extra large prizes in the main office, and perhaps we'll give a few more next week. Here's this week's photo. Have you seen this? Email us and you might be a winner. That's all the time we have, so for everyone at HHS TV, thanks for watching. We leave you with our Twitter find of the week, posted by Mr. Scottbot. We don't know what they're practicing for, but hey, it's only seven seconds. But enjoy and study hard.